I'm Mary Koshinaba. Welcome to Asian Martial Arts. Um, we focus on the whole entire body outside to inside. So we start at the bottom of the feet and we tell the toes to relax and then the heels to relax. And we put the mind in the ankle joints and tell them to be flexible. And then we move up a little higher, relaxing the calves and shins. And we think about the knees becoming flexible. And they go up and down with the ankles as well. And then um, we move a little higher up, relax the thigh muscles. And we call the gua, the inner crease is the gua. And from there, we think about the hips, and we tell the hips to relax and unclench. A lot of times, we're very tense, and we don't really realize it until we stop and actually think about it. So if you think unclench the hips, you're likely to go, oh yeah, OK, relax. <laughs> and then the tailbone relaxes. And then we want to picture the spine in perfect alignment. So that's the way it should be. And so we start at the bottom of the tailbone, and we gradually think our way up the lower vertebrae, picturing everything in perfect alignment and really good condition. And we move the mind a little higher up over the waist into the middle section of the back. And then up over the dajui, that bump at the base of the neck, we call that the dajui. And up the cervical vertebrae into the base of the brain. And then we think about the brain, and we think that we can shake one side of it. And sometimes we take one side over the top and shake the two sides together. Sometimes we shake one side and go down uh, for the eye, ear, nose, and throat on each side. And when we don't forget the face. We want to relax the forehead and the lower jaw and the neck muscles all the way around, front, sides, and back. And from there, we move the mind across the tops of the shoulders, and we release tension and tightness in the shoulder muscles. That's another area where a lot of people hold a lot of tension and tightness. And so if you, um, again, consciously think, oh, relax, you'll, you'll relax. And then we move down the arms, relaxing the upper arms and the elbows. And we relax the lower arms and the wrists, particularly. A lot of people have very stiff wrists, I've noticed. And, and so if they put the mind in the wrist and tell it to be flexible, it's likely to loosen up a little quicker. At this point, both hands and arms should be shoulder height. You feel, um, you have an energy, you can feel a tingling in your palms. Um, it doesn't always happen right away, but the, the longer you do it, or the more you practice, the more you'll feel that. And you're very relaxed, your, your joints are more open, you're more limber, it improves balance. Um, it saved me many a time from a slip on the ice in this climate. In Chinese medicine, there are certain emotions and colors and things that are related to all the internal organs. And the liver um, is associated with the color green, like maybe the color of the mats, a spring green, along with anger. So what we want to do is uh, shake out any anger that you might have attracted either by having someone become mad at you or through you becoming mad at someone else. Um, then you want to shake out that anger and replace that with kindness. And then we go to the heart and we think of the heart becoming bright red as it fills up with joy and we think cruelty and impatience shake out. And again the same thing, it can be somebody was mean to you or you were mean to someone or something, an animal for instance. You want to shake that out and get rid of it, you don't want to keep it. And for the spleen pancreas in the front, on the left, um, we associate the color yellow and the emotion compassion, and we want to shake out worry and anxiety. It doesn't do any good to worry about things um, unless you can fix them, and if you can't fix them, then why worry about them? And then we go to the lungs, where we think of the white coming in along with courage, and we shake out sadness and grief. I work in kind of a stressful job, so I need some form of a way to relax. And traditionally, when I was younger, I did more of the hard form of martial arts. And as I got older, I realized it was really too much wear and tear on my joints. So I, lo I was looking for something less stressful. Um, tai Chi is um, a wonderful art form. 
You can relax, you should focus on your movements and have nothing else in your mind. So that it just it helps tune your whole body. Balance, it promotes balance, particularly um, for the elderly. There's a lot of uh, studies that have been done on older folks that do Tai Chi, and it has reduced the incidence of falling in some of the studies by close to 50%. So that's probably the biggest um, thing that it's known for, but it also um, keeps all your joints limber. If you're younger and you're not stiff yet, it'll keep you from becoming stiff. If you're older and you are a little bit stiff already, it will gently loosen um, any stiffness and flexibility is a really important thing particularly as you age because you want to be able to tie your own shoes and you know button in the back or whatever and uh, so you want to be flexible so there's balance there's flexibility there's a the mental focus um, but there's also something that happens when you do Tai Chi on the inside that I can't quite explain it's um, it's sometimes rather than calling Tai Chi exercise, it's called inner size because the um, improvements start on the inside with the internal organs and then move outward. Then they become visible to your friends or your family and say, oh, gee, you don't look so troubled anymore, or gee, you can do a lot more than you used to do. Um, so it, it works on the whole entire body as well as your mind. So Tai Chi really unites your body, mind, and spirit. And that's what we want to become as a balanced human being so that we can reach our full potential.